Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, NexusSHacks.com. So today I've got a review of Crossbones um, ROM coupled with, uh, since it doesn't have uh, overclocking, I added Matrix Kernel. Um, it works really well. It actually has face unlock and uh, I, didn't, I didn't think it would ever work well, but um, it actually works quite well on my Nexus S uh, 4G here. I'll show you. There. And uh, that's even without that much light because I'm I'm kind of going sideways, and that that works really well. I'm really surprised. And I've been trying different um, combos. Um, the key might be you know this is a good wrong crossbones 0.1.2. Um, I got it. I got set CPU at 1.46 at interactive X setting, and I think it seems to work really well. Highly recommend this setup. And also, I remember uh, my last reviews um, on some of the ICS ROMs, it wasn't that smooth. Um, and it was all rendering funny. But you can see it's rendering really nice. Um, loads up really quick. Uh, let's check out the camera. With the overclocking, um, I think it all depends on the kernel you use with the ICS. You need overclocking, otherwise you'd be screwed. Um, Camera is kind of funky. Oh, it's just the first time you take the picture. It should work fine. And let's switch to uh, video. And there we go. So everything's working fine. Um, the first time you app launch the camera, it might go funky on you like it did for me but it should work fine after that. Um, other than that, everything works. Um, it's a good combo, crossbones, um, you know, everything's be de bloated. Um, just personally, I've, I've been trying so many ROMs for my Nexus S 4G and the Nexus S. Um, this is for Nexus S 4G only, by the way. I'll have another combo. It seems like the Matrix kernel <coughs> works well. One of the better um, kernel so I highly suggest you to try it on whatever ICS ROM you're on and also this ROM is great also um, so that's the combo I found out um, let's run a quadrant really quick uh, see what kind of speeds we get here so I really like this setup um, I will see how the battery life is um, over the couple days, but um, you can try it. Let me know. But it's a fully functional ROM. Um, there's no lag whatsoever uh, that I can see kind of here. Um, the only thing I haven't tested yet is the battery life, but it should be pretty good because it's not going to be running at 1.4 6 gigahertz all the time at interactive X. It's just going to use um, how much it needs. Oh, there goes my Google Chats. Every time somebody messaged me, my whole all my phones just go off, as you can tell. Well, that was only my two of my phones, so I have to keep turning off some of my phones. So it doesn't drive me crazy when somebody calls me. All my phones go off. If I had all of them on, anyway. Um, should get about thirteen fifteen hundred, which isn't too bad on ICS. You can't really compare that speeds to on um, Gingerbread. Um, so it, you can still benchmark it. Just ICS is going to be a lot lower numbers. So I've got 1284. Well, the numbers aren't so important, but the usability is. I mean, the face unlock requires a lot of uh, processing power, and it works really well. Um, anyway, if you want face unlock and uh, some really lagless um, ICS ROM, highly give this ROM and the Matrix combo a go. And I'll have a, a review of another combo for ne the regular Nexus S coming soon. Um, so subscribe. Um, and don't forget to check out the uh, the high on Android show and leave some comments. Um, thanks, y'all, and subscribe. See y'all later.